All right, YouTube, what is up? JitterXIY here coming at you with a brand new video. And today I am going to be showing you how to install Forge on 1.7.2 and install the Lucky Block mod with Forge. So get ready and I hope you enjoy the video. So first thing you're going to want to do is go on your internet browser of your choice mine is chrome and what you're gonna first do is come to this link which will be in the description files.minecraftforge.net and what you are going to do here is go to whichever version of forge you want I'm going to be showing you 1.7.2 because 1.7.2 of Minecraft is what I use for pretty much everything from like servers that I just make myself and just what I play on and servers that I play on so yeah this is just what I use although it will work you'll just have to get a different version of lucky blocks to you'll just have to get a new and updated version of lucky blocks for that and then get whatever as long as your versions match so you can't obviously run like a 1.7.10 version of mm, Minecraft Forge with a 1.7.2 lucky blocks that's obviously they're not compatible what you need to do is get ones that are the same so 1.7.2 forge and 1.7.2 lucky blocks there you go they are compatible so that you can so then you can use them so once you are on this page now, what you are going to do is come here and it'll be right away. You, you don't even have to really scroll down. And it says 1.7.2 dash recommended. That is what you want. You want the recommended build. So what you are going to do is come over, just pretty much take your cursor, do what I'm doing, come over and get installer. You don't want any of these other ones. You want installer, just plain installer okay so then you're going to click on that it will download down here and save to wherever you want I already have it downloaded so however I'm not going to be doing this then after you do that the second link in the description is where to get a lucky block mod so yeah on here then this is skydaz.com this has a bunch of minecraft installers tools mods maps and textures so this is where I get my mods and whatnot before I download them because Skydaz always has clean versions that won't give you viruses so this is where I suggest you get them from then you're just going to come it'll it'll take you to this link in the description click on it and then you're just gonna to want to scroll down you can watch these videos if you want and then as you see here install our instructions you don't have to read all that because I already did and I am telling you how to do it you do need forge like I said so that's why I'm having you download forge now you're gonna keep going down to where it says downloads from here you are going to click download mob from original thread click on that or you can click these other two I personally like this one better just because I know where it's coming from and I know that's the original thread so if this one doesn't work try one of these two most likely one of these will work so whichever one do doesn't or does so um yeah here we go you just click on that it will take you to like add fly or media something media fire and then you will just hit download and then after you do that save that to your desktop too and then you are done downloading stuff then get out of your browser go to your desktop and what you are going to do you should have these two files here okay now let me show you you are going with your forge installer you're going to double click on it okay now it should bring you it should come up with this thing right here okay it says install client install server and extract what you want is install client now it has all it already has a spot where it's going to put it so you don't need to change that it's going to put that in your app data roaming mine I made a shortcut right here so I will show you so just hit OK and then see it'll download mine downloaded really quick because I have good internet connection and a good computer so there you're gonna hit OK 
Now, what you need to do is locate your app data. Okay, which this is how you get into your mine dot Minecraft folder. So I have a shortcut here. You're just gonna I'm just gonna move that over. You're going to go into roaming. Double click on that. Then very beginning you should find dot Minecraft. Double click into that. This is where your config and all other stuff is. Obviously mine's probably not going to look like yours because I have mods in it and other things. If you want to learn those mods, let me know and I can ex I can do a video on them. So, what you are going to do now is you're going to come in here and you're going to locate your mods file, okay? Boom. Double click on that. Your mods file will, will most likely be created once you run this forge installer. If it is not, just right, just do this. Just do right click, new folder, and write mods all like it all in lowercase, no spaces. Why would you have a space? It's only one word. But okay, now that you have that, all you need to do now is oh, once your mods is opened up, you won't have this in here. So we can. I'll just leave that in there. You won't have damage indicators or lucky block. You will just. This will be blank. There will be nothing in here. You will take this, which you just downloaded. As you see, it is the same thing that I have. You will drag it and move it to mods okay from there you are done installing this you are done once you have lucky block mod in your mods for file you can close out of dot minecraft but to show you i'm going to show you where right now your versions and how to delete versions so let me look real quick this is the 21 so this is the forge you installed. I already had a forge <clears throat> installed here. So I just installed another one just to show you guys. But um, yeah, so then let's click out of that. You don't need this open anymore. So you can close out of that. Now it is time to load up your Minecraft folder. So load up your launcher. I'll let it load up. All right, you should now have a new on your Minecraft launcher. You should have a thing. You should click profile, forge, okay, and that should come up right there. You will be using your profile forge. Hit play. Boom. It's going to take a little bit slower to load up because it is using a different it's like loading a brand new Minecraft because they coded things for Forge. So it's like the first time you loaded Minecraft. So then you load up Forge. Bam. Five. You'll see down in your left hand corner Minecraft 1.7.2. MCP version 9. Point, you don't really need to care about the FML. Minecraft Forge. You don't need to know about that either. You have five. I have five mods loaded. Yours will say most likely four mods loaded. And then what you are going to do if you, you click mods as you see you won't see damage indicators but you will see this all right it'll say lucky block 5.00 all right it'll tell you all that and everything and what all right then bam you, you will see that there that shows you that that is enabled in your mod list then all you need to do is this is so easy all you need to do give me one sec is I'm sorry, I just that was kind of loud. All you need to do is go to a single player world. I'm just going to create a new one. I'm going to call this Tut, okay? Boom, Tut. All right, set, I'm going to set mine to creative. Let me see, do I have, okay. And I'm going to, we'll, we'll just put this on super flat right now because that's, I don't really need anything else right now. Create new world. It's going, you're going to just create a new world and Oh, let it load up and okay it most likely won't say damage indicator it won't say damage indicators is up to date because you aren't going you don't have damage indicators installed yet but you're going to scroll down you're gonna go into your inventory and scroll all the way down and you will see lucky blocks you will see the normal lucky block which has like 50 50 then you'll have one that is 80 percent lucky then you have one that is negative 80 percent lucky so 
that's more like a 20% really. So yeah, you can place them down and you know have a good old time with them. And we'll just get rid of those real quick. And to break them, you can't break them in creative. You have to go slash game mode zero. Okay? So then you can break them. Alright, lucky pigs with a lovely villager on top. Let's see what the trade is. Boom. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, oh, 21 wool for an emerald. LOL. I was just doing that because, you know, I felt like it. But, uh, yeah, break that one. Boom. Got a bunch of dies, okay? Now, we'll break this. These are our very luckies. All right, ender pearls. Those are always helpful. And then you also have ender eyes. Bang. All right. And then, boom. Bow and arrows. And then our very unlucky one. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's that's kind of what that's kind of what happens when you get a very unlucky one, as you uh, see. Um, it's not very good. It's not very fun. All the zombies are going straight towards. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this is pretty much what happens though. For the very unlucky ones, you find pretty bad ones. But um, let me just do slash time set. Zero. Oh, that was great. Wow, okay. Slash difficulty zero. Alright, sorry about that, guys. But as you see, I was able to place lucky blocks and break them. And that shows you how to install lucky blocks on Minecraft 1.7.2. If you enjoyed, please, please, please hit that like button with your head just hit it as hard as you can with your head just hit it come on just bang straight it with your head all right also leave a favorite come on help, help me out please that's all i want to do is you know make youtube videos help people out and i will have things in the description for how to up for the downloads and do, is there anything else? I'll probably have some captions at the end too, maybe. I don't know. That's not a promise, but I might. Um, but yeah, uh, also leave general feedback because I love to know what you guys are thinking and if there's anything that you, any tips or things that I should change and you guys are like, hey, you, you suck. Don't. I don't need to know that. Or if you guys are like, hey, you might need to turn down your Minecraft volume. It's a little loud for us. I'd say, oh, okay, thanks, and I'd, you know, I'd reply back to you, and you know, that's the kind of con con uh, criticism I like—the constructive c criticism that helps you get better. And you know, so if you enjoyed, like I said earlier, hit that like button with your head very hard, and I will see you later, dudes.